Hi, this is Sarai. I'm doing ministry in Hollywood today. So this is what they call the Hollywood Walk of Fame and I'm by the Chinese Theater, which I'll show you, but before I show you, I want to plead the blood of Jesus over these images that I'm showing. So I do, I plead the blood of Jesus. I thank you, Father, for your divine protection here. And I just want to call in the angels here to Hollywood, and I say this prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen. So anyway, here's the satanic altar right here. See the, the these objects on top? They're obelisks, and they're for the uh, false god Baal. This whole thing's a satanic altar right here. It's really evil here. Okay, then you look over here and look how satanic this thing is. It's a main part of the altar. And you look over there and it's the same thing as the first one I showed you. This is all satanic architecture. And what happens with this architecture is Oh, uh, no thanks. I'm doing a video. Yeah, please don't, please don't do that. That's why I had to plead the blood of Jesus, because this guy over here is trying to do something to me with his fingers. So I break the power of any curse that he's trying to put on me in the name of Jesus. So, I've been sent here a lot for the last six months. I've been in Hollywood for about one week out of every month for, you know, six or seven months. So before I came here on the street, I, I drove through in my car with my convertible top down. I was blessed with a con convertible Ford Mustang recently. And so I drove through here on the street and I blew my shofar and I also have a staff and I pray with my staff. I got anointed with a staff by the prophet Joseph about eight or nine years ago on my property out in the country. He anointed me with oil, olive oil, and and prophesied over me. He anointed me as a prophet, and that's right around the same time Jehovah told me that I was a prophet in prayer. So I wanted to show you my staff. Just a minute here. Sorry this video is not the greatest, but I'm trying to do the best I can. So this is a staff that Joseph anointed me with right here. So some uh, Indians in Arizona made it. And so I got blessed with this staff. I use it in ministry. Everywhere I go, I've been taking it all over the world with me. And I also have taken it to Washington, D.C. with me about three times. And I prayed over the White House and over the Capitol building. So anyway, right now in the name of Jesus, I'm gonna use my staff and crash down evil here. What I do is I point the staff at the satanic object and I just say fire because it's Holy Spirit fire because these 
satanic altars. They have demons all over them. I've, I've seen, I see the demons on these satanic altars. Sometimes I don't see them, but I know they're there, but I've seen many demons all over the place. This place is full of demons, actually. So right now, in the name of Jesus, I call down Holy Spirit fire, and I crash this evil down in the name of Jesus. Fire, fire. So I have a ministry called Tree of Life, and I've come here with groups of Christians to do street ministry, and then the Holy Spirit led me to make some Hebrew um, costumes because, you know, people are wearing costumes here, so I thought, what better way to witness to them, uh, you know, because I thought it would be fun to make a Hebrew woman and man costume. So I did. I, I sewed them up and I, they turned out really good. And then I asked, I asked this Christian guy named Roman to come with me to do ministry one day. And he has long hair and so he put his outfit on and you know, I had my outfit on. And so we were walking through Hollywood doing ministry and people started calling us Mary and Jesus. So we had some really good ministry opportunities. And then I came back again with the same outfit on and this time I had the prophet Joseph, the one that anointed me with his staff, he was with me and he looks like Jesus. He has long hair and a beard. So he put the Jesus outfit on and I had the Mary outfit on, but this time I had a big wooden cross and I was carrying the big wooden cross and my Bible. So I had a lot of ministry opportunities too. And I didn't know that the first time and the second time that people would be calling us Mary and Jesus, but it turned out good because it was kind of fun dressing up and God bless the day, you know, with me praying for people. And I remember one guy that needed prayer a lot that day and it just opened a lot of doors because we stood out in the crowd with uh, wearing our Mary and Jesus outfits. So anyway, I just wanted to tell you about that. I'll go for now and I just wanted to show you what I'm doing today. I'm going to pray and see where else I should go before I leave. I'm headed out of LA because I've been giving given warnings prophetically through dreams and visions to leave LA and go to Lake Tahoe because something's going to happen pretty soon and that's why God told me to sell my, sell my six acre property a few years ago so I'm completely out of the area when disaster strikes. Okay, well take care. Blessings. Bye.